This is the Boy Scouts under fire after a decision to ban an eight-year-old transgender boy from participating in the Cub Scouts over his gender identity. Joe Maldonado and his mother, Christy, are fighting this decision, and they join me now. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Good a merry belated Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I understand you got a drone for Christmas. Yes. You excited? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. We're forgetting all of this that we're dealing with an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old boy here. When you got the call from the Scouts um, saying that they didn't want him to participate, what was your reaction? I was angry and hurt because he was going for a month and he was enjoying himself. Uh, right from the beginning, I actually got permission because I had asked to see if he could join and they had mentioned no problem. So uh, I went, I gave them my fee, I filled out the application and everything was going well for a month and then I received a phone call from the council saying that uh, he can no longer be in the scouts because I, his identity is a female. But you, you told them, you asked about it, right? So what do you think changed? What changed, do you think? I believe it has to do with some of the parents. They made uh, a call yeah. because they didn't ask for a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So. So, uh, what, why did you want to join? Because um, my friend was a, a bo in the Boy Scouts, and it was really fun. I had a barbecue, but I was playing with my friends. I had a science exp I did science experiments, and it was just so fun. I can't believe The last this day happened. he was in, they had a big party, and it was at three hours. It was around Halloween. They had cupcakes. Uh, they were giving out badges. And then uh, yeah. downstairs, they were doing uh, like science experiments. Yeah. So he had a lot of fun the last day. And then four days later, I received a call from the council. Yeah. Joe, how did this make you feel when you heard that? Well, it made me feel sad at first, but then I got really mad. Yeah, yeah. And you, no crying. You were just mad and upset about it, right? Yeah, I, was, I wasn't crying. Yeah. No. You don't think it's fair? No, no. not at Why all. Why not? Because, because, because um, all my friends get to do it and I can't. Yeah. Uh, Christy, this is what the Boy Scouts released a statement. They're saying, uh, it was brought to our attention that their child does not meet the eligibility requirements to participate in this program. So Boy Scouts of America, uh, BSA, leadership reached out to the family to inform them and share information on alternative programs. Did they explain the eligibility requirements before? They did not. The last time I talked to them was that day when he mentioned that he could no longer be in the Boy Scouts. And that was on the phone. That was the last time. What were the alternatives that they presented to you? They didn't. They didn't say anything? No. 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 Not at, at all. all. At all. No, on the conversation yeah. on the phone? Yeah. No. Not at all. No. No, and, and you want to be a part of, of the Cub Scouts? Absolutely. Correct? So what do you say, you know, people are watching, I know, you, uh, you know um, you're a big guy, eight years old. What do you say to, to people out there who are wondering why you wanted to join and, you know, ab about this whole thing, what's going on? Um, well, I, I really don't understand why they kicked me out all because I was born a girl. This, this is just ridiculous. Because he lives as a boy. Mm -hmm. His identity is a boy. He wouldn't look right if I put him in Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you're going to help people understand transgender issues? Do you think that, that maybe this, there was a reason that this happened, that maybe you're going to sort of be a conduit to the public to help people understand this? Yeah, yeah. Mom, same question. Um, I just feel they should go by, they should accept all transgenders and go by their identity and not to go by their birth certificate. I see, I see the way you're looking at him. Um, what, did you, what did you say to him? When, what did you say to him when, he, when you found out? How did you explain <coughs> the conversation? He was actually in the car when I got the phone call. Yeah. And it upset you more than it, it did. It did, yeah. it did. Are you because he wants to just live life normal. He plays basketball. Everything's going well in school. He's accepting by his peers. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what the issue is. Are you going to take, are you considering legal action with this? I am not. Yeah. No. Yeah. Anything you want? I think this is the best way to go. Yeah. Are you going to be okay if you can't participate? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Thank you.
I appreciate you joining us. Thank you, Joe. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Happy New Year. Thank you. What a Poppy. Great interview. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Joe. We'll stay on this one. Still to come for us.